GNO, ABC 26. This is Good Morning New Orleans. And now we're going to give you some holiday cheer. What better way to get in the Christmas spirit than uh, with a cocktail? And joining us this morning from the Windsor Court Hotel is Robert, uh, Roger Blay. Good morning. Good morning, Nick. It's good to be here. Thanks for coming in. What is the drink we're mixing up here? We're going to make a Moscow Mule. Moscow Mule. That tells me there's got to be vodka involved. Definitely vodka involved. This is a great drink for the holidays. It's, uh, it's light. It's festive. It's limey. It's gingery. It's really easy to drink. And... Uh, Pretty simple to make, which well, uh, which well, goes a long way. Let me ask you first about that. I'm, I'm looking at this bottle of vodka here. Mm -hmm. and I, 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 I can read the Cyrillic on the front here. It says, Ruski Standard, mm -hmm. Russian Standard Vodka. Russian Standard Vodka. This is actually pretty new in the market. Um, this is the number one selling vodka in Russia right now. Really? Mm -hmm. And uh, for, for many, many years, the, uh, the vodka in Russia kind of the standards really went down, 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 down. So the government uh, of Russia took a lead from the French and the uh, Germans and have, has established purity laws. And, uh, and this is the purest of the pure. This is the purest of the pure, and it has this official symbol on here, which uh, says that it uh, meets all the standards set up by the Russian government. It's made with 100% Russian wheat. Uh, it's really got a very nice bottom to it. Um, it's uh, really a delicious vodka. I mean, we're going to mix it here, but you could definitely make martinis with it or just uh, sip it chilled like the Russians do. Okay. <laughs> First day of winter tomorrow, too, as a matter of fact. Right. So our, how do we make this drink? It's pretty simple. Today. It's pretty simple. Like, if you were in Russia, you would, you would need this, uh, this copper-lined mug, which is really? uh, kind of the standard thing. But uh, if you don't have one, just a regular tall Collins glass will work. We're just going to fill it with ice. Okay. And I see yeah. lots of lime sitting around, so mm -hmm. it's going to be a good yeah. lime to drink. Right. No need to measure. We're just going to plop a little. <laughs> Never any need to measure. Right. A couple of ounce and a half to two ounces of, uh, of our Russian standard vodka. I'm going to press a fresh lime here. You know, you can buy lime juice already made, but this is, a, this mm. is really nice. It's about the juice of about a third of a lime. Just squeeze it right in there. And smell it already. Mm -hmm. So this is pretty. You, you have three ingredients. So you have the vodka, mm -hmm. you have the lime, and then ginger beer. Now, not a, not a lot of people know about ginger beer, but ginger beer is uh, a you lot see of it's, it in Jamaica. A lot. It's common a lot Jamaica. of it's made in Jamaica, right? Because it has a of, nice little snappy bite to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then. Uh, Actually, yeah, we're just going to top this off to taste, you know. This is, a, people say, well, how's ginger beer different from ginger ale? This is probably a lot more pungent, not as sweet. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it actually makes this drink just absolutely perfect. And we're going to just go garnish it with a All right. Whether lime it's wheel. in the, the copper cup or whether it's in a Collins glass, mind if I take a taste? Oh, please. I will, I'm Be my guest. Anxious to sip on this one. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Very good. <laughs> a good wintertime drink. Absolutely. And easier Want to do for the holidays. Yeah, absolutely. Great. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you all. All right. Next on Good Morning New Orleans.